Hey guys, it's Knives Galore here, and today I'm going to be working on a karambit, and uh, it was suggested to me by one of the viewers of the last videos, you know who you are I'm assuming, because I have six subscribers at this point, and it's a fairly close tight-knit fan base, which is nice. And uh, yeah, so I've just almost finished getting out all the rough shape on that, I've been using all of these metalwork files, and a little bit of my grinder. And yeah, it's going to look really good when I'm done. I'm not going to bother showing you all the all the filing processes and things because that's they're boring and I know you don't really want to see that, but I'm just going to keep you up to date on how this is getting on, all right? Um hopefully I can get it finished today. If not, I'll have a follow-up video showing you the heat treating process and possibly handling it somehow. I'm not sure how I'm going to handle it at this point, but Hopefully it will look cool in the end and I can get it done before Christmas. Right then guys, this is what it looks like at the moment. It looks quite good. I think the grip works. It's nice and comfortable to hold and all. See, it's nice. It fits well. It's a good, good nice fit. It is. It's quite a nice design. I changed the design slightly as some of you might have noticed. I was going to drill a hole there. Then I realised I don't ha really have enough material left on it to make a good sizeable hole to put your pinky finger in. And it still look good and feel good. So I've changed it slightly so it fits better and just generally is better as a knife. So yep, now we've got to move on to the grinding and think about the handling as well before we start grinding. So we have some idea about how it's all going to come together. So guys, we're ready for grinding now, got my grinder ready, got this set to the correct angle. I've traded in my glass for some nice plastic with some water in it instead because it was kind of pointed out to me that maybe glass isn't a great thing to store next to a grinder and keep putting something metal in and out of. Also, got myself some tight fitting gloves now that hopefully won't snag in the chuck of this. So. Now we're a little bit safer on that front, got my goggles on, I'm about to put my ear defenders on and other than that we are about ready to start now so just going to move some of this flammable stuff away from there because you know grinders create sparks and sparks are bad so other than that we are ready to start. Right guys so we're ready to start grinding now, I've started a little bit just to see if it will work and the shape does actually produce quite a nice grind as you can see. Just letting this speed up a bit. First thing I'm going to do is put in my water. I've set this up now so it's a little bit further away because I didn't like how harsh this is, so it's going to be even harsher than that because it's a karam bit. And well, that's just how I like it really. So I can put it on, I've got a little bit of room now, and now I can start going on and have a See, and that's a bit better now. As you can see now it started to create, uh, create the nice bevel so that's looking quite nice at the moment. It's not going to be a particularly harsh bevel because it's a karamba and if it was too sharp it would snap if you put any kind of force onto it. So I'm leaving it quite harsh so there's going to be a lot of meat left on the blade. Is what I'm saying. It's nice two and a half mil thickness there. That's all good. And I'm not going to show you the rest of the grinding process because it's going to take me a freaking year to do. And that's going to be a bit boring for you guys, so I'll just do all that off camera and then show you what it looks like in the Okay, and this is what it looks like after the grinding. Looks quite good in my opinion. It's a little bit on the sharp side from what I thought it might be, but it still holds quite a nice edge at the moment. But as you can probably see from here, those overheated bits at the end and the start from where I held it too long on the grinding wheel 
I've overheated the industrial heat treat so these bits are a lot softer than the rest of it. But that doesn't really matter particularly because I was going to heat treat all of this anyway separately. So it's not a massive deal, it just leaves a dark discoloration and I'm not a massive fan of that. Um, I've also slipped a few times on the grinding wheel just where the holder came off its hinge slightly and I've created a few dents in it. Sorry if my camera's out of focus. Uh, but other than that, it looks alright. It's ready for the sanding and wet and dry papering. And after that, it will be heat treating. And then I'll have to sand it all down again. Uh, but that will be easier if I sand it down first. Because um, the soot won't stick to it quite as well. And after that, yeah, then it's handling and sharpening. And then we're done then. And then we've got a karabit finish, which will be interesting because I've never done one before. So, uh, ooh, hope you're still with me so far. <laughs> okay, got myself some wet and dry paper. This is, in my opinion, the best way to clean up a knife just because it holds its grain a lot better than, say, sandpaper or anything like that. After sanding it, I'm going to heat treat it. Then I'm going to repeat this process again, but hopefully everything comes off a lot easier. And then afterwards, I'm going to buff it. Um, uh, like how my other knife looks, the Carrot Cruncher, it will have that same kind of stainless steel type look. But I'll only do that on the blade side and any bits you can actually see after the handle. Um, still having to think about what I'm going to do with the handle, but I've got a few ideas. And I'll show you what they are later on and I'll see if they're looking any good. If not, we can change them on later. So I'm just going to get straight into the sand, into the sanding. What you do is quite easy because this is stainless steel. It's a lot harder than, than anything else really compared to say mild steel. This is normally quite harder because the industrial heat treat is just much better than mild steel just because of how much more expensive this is. So all I'm going to do, grip the knife in one hand, grip the wet and dry paper with the other and you just move it in circles. This moving in circles just takes off that surface which is the chromium finish but because this is stainless steel chromium runs through it which makes it stainless and this shouldn't really affect the uh, corrosive resistantness of this so I'm just going to do that for say 10 minutes and after that, I'll show you the results. Okay, it's pretty much finally finished. It's all polished. It's all nice. I just used my buffing wheel and a drill here just to really make it shiny. Uh, with stainless steel, I'd also recommend it the grain always flowing towards the blade edge side just because it's how stainless steel looks when it's the best. I haven't bothered polishing the middle because that's going to be covered by the paracord wrap. Other than that, uh, all I used for this were files, hacksaws, uh, uh, wet and dry paper, a little bit of sandpaper just for really getting off um, the soot and things from the heat treat but other than that that's all I used. I did use a grinder as well of course but fairly simple to make, um, fairly easy to make uh, it's one of my favourites and um, hopefully the person who wanted me to make it found it interesting and informative and now can make his own so um, shout out to that guy, I don't know if he wants me to put his name in the video or anything, so I'm just as a rule of thumb I'm not going to, unless he really wants me to. But other than that, I hope you really enjoyed it, and I'm just going to finish off by putting the wrap, and that'll be it for the video, all right, Any guys? kind of paracord, really, but uh, I've decided to go for a nice multicoloured one, just, just, be, just to be a little bit different, you know? I mean, it could look nice in camo, but I'll oh, go... Oh. What? What? I haven't... Go away! There you go. Alright, so I'm just going to get straight into making the handle right And now. this is what it looks like in the end. I know it looks very happy, very magical. It looks it looks very... very interesting, yeah. And But I, I like how it turned out. I think it's... it's very sweet, you know. It's a, it's a nice little karambit. Not words you normally hear together, a nice and karambit. But, <laughs> yeah, it's... Um, it's a nice knife, it turned out really well, looks very pretty. It's not sharp yet, but I'm not going to bother show you sharpening it because you've the last video I showed was about sharpening and I'm assuming you got the gist of how to sharpen from that video. So I'll just use those methods from the sharpening thing and it'll end up being a really nice sharp knife. 
So other than that, that concludes the video. Um, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, my channel's doing fantastically so far from what I expected it to do. And it's really great to see that people are liking it. So if you want to see more of these, uh, like and subscribe and everything will be good. And maybe eventually I can get uh, something that's not a grindstone to bevel stuff on and actually get a, a nice deep bevel, that, like a kitchen knife one. That would be great. But uh, oh well, nice to dream. Anyway, um, that's it from me, guys. I'll see you guys in the, in the next video then. Bye. Okay guys, this is what it looks like after the heat treat. It's, wow, very black because I did it in a furnace type thing with coal and well, it's very sooty at the moment, but it's hard. It's very brittle. If I dropped it on this concrete, it would probably shatter into a thousand pieces and I'd have to clean it up. So I'm going to try not to drop it. And it'll hold an edge now and all I have to do now is clean it up a bit, make it look a bit nicer and the idea for the handle is going to be a paracord wrap. I'm only doing this because I think it'd be nicer and it does look more like a karambit if you do that. Just I had a little bit of test before the heat treat and I really 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 don't want to have to put a wooden handle on this. And yeah, it's just generally easier for me so Apologies for that anyway, and yeah, I'll show you what it looks like after I've polished it up and everything.